We try to automate as much as possible in our environments, but we often treat monitoring as an afterthought. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with automating the setup of your monitoring configuration for a new project using Terraform. This is the Stack Doctor. Let's start by reviewing some basics. We need to cover two major things. What should we automate when setting up monitoring and how we can do that? Using the Cloud Monitoring API, we can automate three things. Uptime checks, which are automated probers that can let us know if our service is down or slow. Alerting policies that create incidents and generate notifications. And dashboards that show us the state and health of our systems. Now that we know what we can automate, the next question is how? Here, we also have three options. We can use the API directly, we can use Cloud Deployment Manager, or we can use an open source tool like Terraform. Let's take a quick look at each of those. Our first option is to use the API or the gcloud command to create our entities. For example, you can make a call to the uptimecheckconfigs.create method to create a new uptime check. You can use the API Explorer to determine exactly how to make the call. Our recommendation would be to use the API directly only when no other options are available, since tools like Deployment Manager and Terraform make this much easier. Our second option is to use Cloud Deployment Manager. It allows you to specify all the resources needed for your application in a declarative format using YAML files, and then execute them using the gcloud command line tool. You can also use templates to parameterize the configuration for better reuse. Deployment Manager has full support for Google Cloud Services, and the state or information about what's already been deployed is stored in the cloud. Our final option is Terraform. It's an open source product that allows you to provision resources across multiple clouds through the use of providers. You define the resources you want to provision in .tf files, then use the Terraform command line tool to validate, plan, and apply your deployment. The state is stored locally. Now that we've outlined both what we can automate and what our options for automation are, let's take a look at a specific example. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an uptime check using Terraform. You'll need to start by downloading and installing Terraform to your workstation. Note that if you're using Cloud Shell, it's installed for you. You can use Terraform version to confirm. Next, let's create our Terraform file. First, we'll specify the provider. We want to use Google, and we'll provide a default zone and region for compute resources. Next, we're going to define the resource we're creating. For our example, we're creating an HTTPS uptime check against the root of the web server on the standard HTTPS port, which is 443. Next, we specify the monitored resource. This is where we tell the uptime check the host we're targeting. Note that we do not provide the HTTP or HTTPS here. We've already specified that. Finally, and optionally, we can provide a text string. The uptime check will validate that the content returned from the server includes that string so that we can check availability, latency, and correctness all at once. We're now ready to test and run our code. We're going to use the Terraform init, plan, and apply commands to make sure our code is correct, see exactly what it's going to do, and actually create the check. First, run Terraform init to install the Google Cloud provider and initialize your Terraform configuration. Make sure you get the confirmation message that this step was successful. Next, run Terraform plan to confirm that the code is going to do what you expect. In our case, it should create a single new resource, the uptime check we've defined. Finally, run Terraform apply to actually create the check. Note that you'll need to explicitly confirm that you want to perform this operation. At the end, confirm that our operation created a single new resource by looking at the output of the command. Next, head to the console to see your uptime check in the console. Note that it may take a few minutes for it to start running and returning data. Let's review what we covered today. We learned that cloud monitoring allows us to automate the creation of some common resources using the monitoring configuration, like uptime checks, alerting policies, and dashboards. We also reviewed automation options and looked at the monitoring API, Cloud Deployment Manager, and Terraform. Finally, we walked through a specific example of creating an uptime check using Terraform. I hope you found this introduction to setting up automation and treating your monitoring as code useful. That's it for this episode. Come back next time when we dive into automating creating dashboards. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.